College football conference realignment rumors continue to swirl. Let's get you caught up on the latest. The Pac-12 held a meeting yesterday about the latest TV deal. What does that mean? What steps could follow? Will Arizona plus other schools from out west bolt for the Big 12? And could that mean the end for the Pac-12? And lastly, a bit of a dark horse story here. Florida State, are they unhappy in the ACC? Could they leave that conference in the coming years? Hell, this year? Lots to discuss here on College Football Now. Before we get to all of that, though, if you're ready for college football, go ahead and like this video. Hit the thumbs up icon on today's show and uh, show your love, show your support. I, for one, cannot wait. I know things are changing uh, off the field, but the on the field product is just around the corner. Fall camp's underway. Like that video if you're ready for games to be here. Here's the latest on the Pac-12 Conference. Commissioner George Kliakoff uh, presented conference members with the latest TV deal offer. Uh, that report, the report of that offer is each school would get about $20 million per year from Apple TV as a primarily streaming contract, which we'll expand on that. Don't think that's great. Uh, with potential escalators, if enough, enough subscriptions are reached, also seems like a bit of a long shot. Uh, no agreement met at this time. Further meetings are expected at some point. I'll just put this straight. This is not a good TV deal uh, for the Pac-12, and there's a couple of reasons why, uh, among probably more that are out there, but these are the two primary reasons why I think this deal stinks. Number one, yes, we like to sit here and say streaming is the new wave, but when you think of people who watch live sports, the vast majority of people are still doing so on Fox, ESPN, ABC. Sure, you can stream those products, but... They're not thinking, oh, download Apple TV to watch my favorite college football teams. Like, that's, that's a bit of a stretch. That's, you're going to have less eyeballs, which is not good for anybody uh, in the Pac-12. Uh, and it's not a competitive financial offer. It'd be one thing if Apple TV just had major investment. Like, hey, we'll give you $40 million per, per school. We know we're going to eat some of that money, but we're just trying to steal some of the college athletics market uh, as we try to invest here. They're offering about $20 million per school. For reference, the Big 12, which in the last two years people thought could be dead, they got $31, $32 million each in their TV deal with ESPN. So uh, not a good offer uh, that the Pac-12 currently has from Apple TV. ESPN and Fox, their time slots are pretty much filled out, so they're not that interested in getting involved. CBS is the Big Ten now. Uh, you know, the SEC uh, got their uh, deal with ESPN. So, like, the Pac-12 is kind of just stuck. Like, they, they don't have great options from the major networks, which is why streaming platforms have gotten involved. The freaking CW has shown interest. Like, the Pac-12 is not in a good spot here. Let's just put it, uh, call a spade a spade. Now, the Pac-12 after this upcoming season, which, by the way, side note, I actually think the Pac-12 could be really fun this year, which kind of is a shame in all of this that it could uh, be falling apart here. But uh, the Pac-12 only is set to have nine members after this year, and that's if no one else leaves. Arizona, Arizona State, Cal, Oregon, Oregon State, Stanford, Utah, Washington, Washington State. Now, and side reports, we San Diego State has drawn some interest from them, SMU, but you're kind of looking at that, you're like, okay, like maybe if you can get a couple of schools and literally no one else leaves, you can survive this, but uh, it's not a great spot right now out west. Now, Arizona is kind of the school that's taken center stage after Colorado left for the Big 12 officially last week. Uh, reports are that the Big 12 and Arizona have mutual interest. Now, what's interesting about that state is the Arizona Board of Regents oversees both Arizona and Arizona State. That's a very unique situation because obviously those are rival schools, but they do want to be packed together. Uh, the Board of Regents also uh, has basically, it's been leaked out that those schools don't have to stay together. So there is a scenario where Arizona could leave for the Big 12 and Arizona State would stay in the Pac-12, but I don't think that is preferential for either of those schools. We'll talk more about that here in just a moment, but predict it for us. Will Arizona follow Colorado and join the Big 12? Type Y for yes, type N for no. I would give it about a 70% chance right now that they will leave for the Big 12, and that would be huge for that conference and uh, probably even more devastating for the Pac-12 as they try to survive the realignment uh, situation. Uh, okay, another report. Arizona, Arizona State, and Utah would prefer to band together. The three remaining corner schools with Colorado already bolting back to the Big 12, they would like to 
tie themselves together. Arizona, Arizona State, I'm sure they'd like to keep that rivalry in place. Uh, Utah, geographically, it makes sense. They would like to stay together. So to me, when I hear that, and Colorado having already left for the Big 12, the next steps, regardless of timetable, kind of feels obvious to me. And here's what that looks like, in my opinion. I do think Arizona will make the jump to the Big 12. Like I said, 70% chance right now. They, Arizona, Board of Regents met, uh, had a meeting yesterday, uh, and um, it was public for 30 seconds, and then they went into executive session. So uh, at this exact moment, we don't know uh, how that completely went, but they're clearly discussing their options. I think after that, ASU and Utah would feel the pressure to follow, especially if they want to stay together. But more importantly than that, uh, knowing that the Pac-12 is on thin ice at that point, right? Like you're down to eight schools uh, if Arizona leaves. And then those two schools, if the reports are true that they want to stay banded together, would likely follow Arizona. Then if all three of those are gone, Pac-12 is then down to six teams and I don't think there's enough quality institutions out there to get that even back to a 10 number. I mean, you could go uh, San Diego State, SMU, I mean, Boise, which, you know, I think a lot of people out there think Boise offers a lot because they've been good in football. They really don't. Geographically, they don't. Academically, they don't. Uh, so that's a bad situation. You're down to six. And then two of those six are Oregon and Washington. You think they're going to stay loyal to the Pac-12 and be like, yeah, we'll, we'll help you guys through this? No. Like Oregon and Washington right now are the highest standard co co colleges in that conference, both from an on-the-field standpoint and just overall brand. So uh, I think uh, if Arizona first left and the next two left, that would be very, very, very bad news for folks wanting the Pac-12 to stay in uh stay together long term okay uh we do have some hoodies available for you guys you can get them on sale because it is summertime so they're trying to give you guys a good deal we are here chatsports.com slash cfb hoodie pick one up today whatever your favorite school is uh go get one men's women's quarter zips different types of styles available chatsports.com slash cfb hoodie you got some of these hockey style ones as well big fan of those Link is in the comments and in the description. Pick up a hoodie right now and represent your squad. Uh, now, Pete Thamel, who works for ESPN now and has kind of been all over the realignment buzz recently, put out a good article. Go check it out. But uh, here's a little snippet from it uh, as far as Oregon and Washington go. He says, Oregon and Washington don't want to go to the Big 12. If they are going to switch leagues despite the hurdles, it's likely for the Big 10. Now, new Big 10 commissioner Tony Patetti uh, also doesn't aspire to look like the saboteur. But he's done some quiet diligence about the potential of Washington and Oregon as the Pac-12's vulnerability has made it obvious they could shake loose. Here's the reality. Um, the Big Ten Commission can, can go out there and say, I don't want to be the sabotage guy. Like, I don't want to be the reason a conference is destroyed. Uh, but if you're Oregon and Washington, if the three corner schools uh, out beyond Colorado, ASU, Arizona, uh, and Utah, leave for the Big 12, and the Pac-12 is down to six schools. Oregon and Washington aren't waiting around. They will either leave for the Big Ten if the Big Ten is willing to take them, or they will leave the Big 12 or for the Big 12 because I think the Big 12 would take them at that point. I really do. That would get the Big 12 to 18 schools, which is kind of crazy to say, uh, but uh, I think George Kliakov would be silly to not uh, also want Oregon and Washington in that conference. The more quality of programs you have, the more stability you have in case other schools leave for another conference at some point. That's just the game right now. Like, you got to stay in the game. And, and the Big 12 has done a really good job of kind of rallying here in the last 24 months after Texas and Oklahoma announced their plans to leave. The Pac-12 has not. They have not responded at all since USC and UCLA have bolted, and now they're losing more schools. Is the Pac-12 dead? Seriously, it's a simple question. Type D for dead, A for alive. I mean, at this exact moment, it's still alive, but will it be uh, alive after this year? Uh, I, I don't know. I really don't see a, a positive scenario for the Pac-12 coming out of this. Uh, cast your votes in the comment section. Now, college football fans, if you want more college football videos, prove it to me. First of all, if you made it this far in the video, we appreciate it. But if we get 10-plus new subscribers on this video, We'll do another college football video later this week, whether it's the latest realignment buzz, if there's new stuff out there. Maybe we'll do my early top 25, some other stories as fall camps get underway. Prove it to us that you want more college football content. We just need 10 or more of you guys to subscribe.
Okay, let's uh, exit the Pac-12 here. Uh, Florida State, are they unhappy in the ACC? Pete Thamel says they are the unhappiest ACC institution and could explore other options. And this was kind of a story that had leaked a few months back that about half the ACC was looking to explore, hey, if we're going to stay, we should get a bigger piece of the pie and you know not have it be equal distribution among ACC conference members. Florida State feeling like they're more valuable than Georgia Tech, for example, or something like that. Here's Thamel on this situation. He says FSU has long been the unhappiest of the ACC schools. Uh, Florida State, Clemson, Miami, or any other uh, aggrieved ACC school, if they want to leave in, or in theory duck out of the 24-25 school year, so the year after this upcoming year, uh, they'd have to notify the league in writing by August 15th, August 2nd, so they have less than two weeks. As the ACC also explores and ponders from a distance, it is still dealing with the internal realities of something happening in its own league, the unhappy cohort of seven schools that have been chatting among themselves, those being Florida State, Clemson, Miami, Virginia, Virginia Tech, North Carolina, and North Carolina State, hasn't suddenly found happiness or a viable way to dramatically increase the ACC's finances, but they are still bound together by the league's restrictive grant of rights, which goes through 20 36 and that's where the ACC really finds themselves in trouble being kind of contractually stuck for over a decade with how quick things are moving nowadays that's not a place an advantageous place to be the Big 12 is in a better spot for expansion uh, they just got a new deal which is solid uh, if the, if uh, teams join the Big 12 they also get the 31.7 million now Fox doesn't necessarily, isn't binded to do that, so it would depend on uh, the college for what Fox would uh, guarantee uh, in, that, uh, in teams that move to the Big 12, but still a much better place to be than the ACC. And just from a geographical standpoint, which I know is mostly dead, but if you're the ACC right now, like, who are you adding to strengthen your conference? You're not poaching an SEC school. You're not getting a Big Ten school to come down. Uh, you just don't have great options, right? Whereas the Big 12, they can go out west and poach these schools much more easier uh, than uh, the ACC can. Arizona is halfway out the door. ASU and Utah probably aren't far behind. Oregon and Washington can say they're not interested in the Big 12, but if the Pac-12 dies and the Big 10 doesn't want them, the Big 12 will likely get them. That's reality. UConn, the Big 12's got interest there uh, with their ability in basketball. Memphis, San Diego State, a couple lesser institutions that have been uh, discussed among uh, the Big 12, but those are fallback options for the Big 12. Like the ACC, uh, you know, I don't think adding Memphis or San Diego State would really help them. First of all, I don't think San Diego State would <laughs> go that far east, uh, but that's a different uh, – uh, kind of a separate thought. My final thoughts to all of this are, are, weirdly enough, Arizona holds a lot of power. It, it, it's kind of strange, right? Like the University of Arizona like could be like the final big domino that kind of crashes the Pac-12 conference. Uh, it's fascinating that Colorado and Arizona could be the destruction of a conference, but that's just the reality of it. Now, obviously, USC and UCLA leaving really started that. Kind of like Texas and OU in the Big 12. The difference is the Big 12 has done very well to respond. They really have. Brett Yormark, the new commissioner the last couple of years, has done a great job. George Kliakoff is not. That That's the bottom line uh, in all of this. So, look, if they bolt, uh, the domino effect could be massive, and it could end the Pac-12. That's, that's really where we are uh, in this situation. Now, despite all of this, a lot of me isn't a fan of what's happened over the last – two or three years, and it's really going back a decade plus, right? When A&M left the Big 12 and Nebraska went to the Big 10. Like, I don't love conference football realignment, but the reality is it's adapt or die. That, that's just the world we're living in. Do you like college football conference realignment? Type 1 for yes, type 2 for no. I don't love it, but you got to adapt with the times, otherwise you're going to get left behind. All right, guys, appreciate you for tuning in to College Football Now by Chat Sports. My name is Harrison Graham. We'll see you guys soon here on the channel.